Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new displacement feature in Eevee in Blender 4.2. Shader displacement is one of the coolest features in Cycles, and its introduction in Eevee is a game changer for real-time rendering in Blender. It's also really simple to use. First, make sure Render Engine is set to Eevee. Then, make sure you're either in Rendered or Material Preview mode, otherwise displacement will not be visible. Then, go to the material of the object you'd like to add displacement to, such as this brick wall, and in the shader editor, make sure your material has a displacement texture, or create one procedurally. This texture should be connected to the height input of a displacement node, which is then connected to the displacement input on the material output node. Alternatively, if you've enabled the Node Wrangler add-on, all you have to do is select your principled BSDF node hit Control shift t then go and select your textures, and the material will be set up automatically. Then, go to the Material Properties tab, and make sure Displacement is set to Displacement and Bump. The displacement will be far too large as standard, so let's reduce it to 0.1. You might not see much happen to your mesh, which is most likely because it doesn't have enough geometry to displace, so let's add a subdivision modifier and then we'll keep increasing the levels until we see some nice displacement on our mesh. There we go. To increase the strength of the displacement, adjust the scale parameter on the displacement node. Displacement can help us to add detail and realism in a whole host of scenarios, from adding moss to a rock, to putting barnacles on the hull of a boat, to replicating the crystals of freshly fallen snow all while saving precious rendering time in Eevee. Thanks for watching and happy rendering.